Hi, my name is Don Britton and I'm with 3D Hub. We make interactive 3D software and media that help bring lessons to life. Today I'd like to show you our 3D media player in action. Our player UI is simple with just a handful of buttons. After loading a lesson, you can start a show in traditional 2D or in stereoscopic 3D. For this video, I'll use the 2D option. Let's get started with some lesson material. Here we see one of our very simple and basic lessons. But even at this simple level, the model shows things that a physical model, like a globe, cannot. For example, the prevailing westerly winds are visible. At a slightly deeper level, it's possible to show a cross-section, revealing what's inside the Earth itself. Labels can be turned on and off at will. And note that, like the Earth itself, the labels live in 3D space. The lesson UI is context sensitive, offering only options that currently make sense. And the UI control panel can be dynamically switched from side to side. This allows for optimal left or right hand tablet use, and it allows a teacher to comfortably stand on either side of a large screen. Moving on to more elaborate and interesting lesson material, here we see a four stroke internal combustion engine. It is possible to label and visually highlight the parts. start the engine running, and even look inside to see details about each of the four cycles. You may have noticed that the UI controls themselves are set to fade away, so attention is naturally focused on the lesson material rather than the UI details. But if it's preferable to keep the UI up at all times, a simple press of the push pin is all it takes. Note that animated interactive models help make lessons more interesting and engaging. As you can see, the model remains fully interactive even while the engine is running. These examples show how our software can make learning about complex processes accessible. The 3D Hub approach encourages further exploration, helping students move from a passive learning to an active learning frame of mind. When lessons are shown in Stereo 3D, the entire experience is even more immersive and engaging. In this model, we see the human heart and lungs. Note that the small torso image at the bottom of the screen tracks the orientation of the heart and lungs. The heart is a complex organ, and understanding the various chambers and direction of blood flow is hard to describe with static or flat imagery. Here, we are able to show the direction of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood flow, as well as the internal workings at various speeds. At this point, I'd like to show you another powerful feature of our player. We can switch languages dynamically for both the UI panels as well as the 3D model labels. With the 3D Hub player, it is even possible for users to add additional translations to any Unicode language at any time. This particular translation was accomplished with the use of Google Translate, so I apologize to any native Chinese speakers if the translation is not completely correct. It is interesting to note that there are approximately 55 million students in the K-12 age range in the United States, but worldwide there are more than 1.3 billion. By allowing teachers to easily translate 3D Hub lessons into their local language, we dramatically broaden the applicability of our interactive lessons. With the power of computer graphics, it is possible to learn about things that are very large, like how the Earth's orbit and tilt lead to our four seasons. Note that all player interaction is optimized for touch, so it is natural and fluid. We can also learn about things that are very small, as shown by this model of the Bohr atom. Being able to show the electron orbits in 3D is quite exhilarating when viewed on a stereoscopic 3D TV or projector. And with our dynamic approach to lesson presentation, the differences between the Bohr and Heisenberg models of the atom become readily apparent. Seeing things in action brings lessons to life, thereby promoting better student cognition and retention. Active learning is also promoted when students generate their own 3D content. So, in addition to prepackaged lesson material, the 3D Hub player can also display content like these models produced from normal photographs with the web-based 123D Catch service from Autodesk. And here we see a model destined for a 3D printer, making our player into a high-end print previewer. 
plus one that was generated on a CAT scan machine. Hopefully this short presentation has piqued your interest regarding the power, flexibility, and applicability of our 3D technology in the areas of teaching and training.